Hey guys, so today I want to take a quick look here at the brand new iOS 8 beta 4 update which is available right now. So let's take a look at it here pretty quick uh, on the iPhone 5s. So to start off here uh, with the first big thing and that is definitely here uh, that we do have a brand new kind of a control center look. As you see, it's uh, kind of redesigned over here. And also if you have different colors in the background, I think you're gonna see that also, see through a little bit. Sweet. So another little thing here is that we do have a little bit of a slower animation uh, when we go in and out here, especially for multitasking. Uh, another little thing in here is if we go into here settings and we go into display and brightness first I think you can see there a brand new uh, icon and then you can see the stuff in text size and bold text at this uh, area So that is pretty sweet Some other things here is uh, that we do have in, if you go into privacy here you can see we have new icons here for HomeKit, um, Home Data and Motion Activity, I think it was that they uh, kind of updated it a little bit over there. Uh, and then also they have removed the Bug Reporter app. So it's no longer here anymore. And I'm not quite sure where to get it, if you want to get it this, this time around again. Uh, that might be a little bit difficult. Uh, another thing in here is, um, let's see here, if we see this new app here, which is called Tips. So if you open that app up, you can see that we do get actually some quick tips here uh, and things you can do uh, in messages and using Siri, manage mail and a ton of other tips there that you can get quick uh, access to. And then there was some kind of thing here about the suggested apps. Yeah, uh, if you want that on the lock screen, you can disable that. And I don't remember where, what's the in general? Yeah, suggested apps, if you don't want this on the lock screen, you can disable it. So that could be a good little thing there to know. Uh, you have a new emoji icon if you just go in here and you can see it down here a little bit of a difference not a massive difference of course but it is a difference so that could be good there to know uh, another little thing in here is uh, we get some minor tweaks in multitasking as well up here from what I did here about Use some minor tweaks uh, up there and uh, then we do have a um, home and lock screen in the battery usage so it should be a little bit different and that's of course a small little thing but uh, I haven't used this iPhone right now so much so it doesn't really display uh, but it should be that and also calories uh, if you search for calories now over here and you have the health app it should split up in three different areas like diet and the uh, two other i don't remember them in my head it doesn't show up here because i don't use the app and i think also it could be because it could be like re region based But um, yeah, you just want to take a quick little look here, of course. Uh, not super huge update, but definitely in Control Center, it's a nice update. Then there also might be some other things in the background here that they have updated, of course. Uh, but if you want me to take a look at something specific with this update, definitely let me know about that. Hmm, display wallpaper. And I think this should be about the same as it's always been. 
yeah so yeah just a quick little look at this update here uh, ios 8 beta 4 and if we go in here to general about you can see the proper ios beta name there you can also see it's the latest up to date at the moment today so yeah let's quickly look here on the um, iphone 5s peace out